Well, I destroyed that guy. And over the week, I got some submissions. Well, actually, I only got two. And here was the first. Abraxas has sent me in a Decepticon named Backfire. Um, alt mode would be a deep red pickup truck with flames on it. And the robot mode would have huge arms and small legs. Yeah, not a lot of detail there, man, but I made it out fine. So some of the schematics where the body parts would come out of the car parts, how the truck would kind of look like with flames, not really good quality on my little camera here. Some concept art on how his front would look like in robot mode. Some head sculpts that I tried on. Well, you did give me some characteristics. He's hateful, cruel, and craving vengeance. So I gave him a like an automatic snarl kind of thing. Kind of an angry face at all times. And yeah. It was kind of, uh, he's a little bit more simpler than I thought he would be. And thanks for the references, you know, still not as detailed as I wanted them to be, but it's good enough. And I hope uh, Braxis Grape, this is how you'd like him to be depicted. Yeah, I think I can make him out of Lego, but, you know, I have to destroy some of my weaker creations. And the second person who has sent me in a submission is Biker Trash Wolf. He uh, sent me in a Junkin named Crusher. And a little bit of a character trait here is that rather than repairing himself, as all resilient Junkins are, he just built himself up into a serious war machine. And he described his uh, alt mode, I mean his robot mode, having G1 Skyfire bulk, and his alt mode being a Junkin ship built quality. I don't really know what a Junkin ship looks like, a typical one on the planet Junk, but I suspect it's like a carrier ship or something. Either that or a huge war ship made to look like um, a fortress with treads and cannons. But I settled on the fact that it could fly. Mm, we didn't see Junkins fly, but they did have that corkscrew ship. Some head sculpts, and I hope Biker Trash, you don't mind my concept art. A little bit harder since I'm not really good with making aerial type Lego bots, but I got through it, and this is how he would look like. And Biker Trash, I hope this is how you like him to be depicted. And thank you, both of you, Abraxas Gray and Biker Trash, for sending in your submissions. You know, I'm bored. It's just a little friendly favor for you guys to give me some uh, some inspiration with your own creations. Yes, they are copyrighted for you. I'm not taking them off your hands. They're under the fan character treaty of Transformers. And now to the main video. I am one that is. And this is Lego Transformers Power Spout. He's another variation of the Lego X pod, the Beast pod. And yeah, you can probably see all the parts. Please guys, I don't make any instructions. I'll try to make these um, videos as clear as possible. Please follow along. You know what these parts are, right? Sorry about this. Hmm. Not focusing. Right. So, you can see here, he has a sort of alien jet mode. Again, with the alien jet modes. And he's pretty simple. He would be um, the size of a Legends figure right now. And I made this guy into a triple changer. Well, 
I struggled with it, and it requires, requires some of imagination. But let's try it out, anyways. If he was a real um, figure, this turret type thing would push in into his body. But since I'm only Lego, let's just imagine it's not there. He has uh, this jet mode, then a tank mode. All you do is use some stud friction to move these out into a straight way. <laughs> yeah, I'm fumbling here, sorry. I haven't done videos for a week. You pivot these down. See, see. Let's do it in midair. You have these parts right here. Move in. Oh wait, sorry. Okay, first this this angular piece. More stud friction. It turns forward. Just like on the other side, do the same. I mean these things when you build them yourself probably be better if anybody is doing this. Now you put these in and they will make the sides of the tank mode. These little parts fold forward and the front section would move down to um, just differentiate it from a flying thing into a ground type thing. Flip forward, spin around because it's on a peg. Well, not a peg, it's on one of those one studs. And put it on the ground again. And there you have it, his tank mode. Sure, it's not all that convincing because you can see how the turret was in its aerial mode and where his wings are now. But he's a little cute. <laughs> I sure do like him because I made him. Yeah, I'm a little biased. So if you can make him, just watch a little bit closer next time around because I'm going to transform him into his third mode. Well, robot mode, of course. Again, put him up. Instead of going down here. I did make him have stubby little legs, but in this instance, I want him to have um, a better looking robot form. So I'll make him look lanky. Put it in this. See, a little stud friction. Push his legs in. And yes, the turrets here turn into his toes. I'll explain those when uh, we're fully at his robot mode. Push in. Go back up. Push his head down. Yes, his head is the cockpit. But, you know, some things you can't escape when you're doing something this small. Spin these tread things that I imagined just to um, give it a little bit more differentiation so it doesn't get in the way of the arms these arm things and whatever you want to do with this just do like that and move back way back try to balance him out zoom back in there you have him power spout in his robot mode Nifty, a little bit awkward in the, what do you call it, hmm, in the anatomy, arms a little bit longer, no knees, but what you're going to do, if you guys are going to make him, I would suggest that you make him a little bit bigger, thus you can use better pieces, everything gets better when it's bigger, but that doesn't mean it's better, okay, I'm just being ridiculous sorry anyways I did draw a little bit of him even though he was like a mini bot I did give him some character traits he's an Autobot not just like Blitzwing but he would be really courageous but his courage would outfit him because he couldn't stand up to the power of bigger bots so he's always in for repairs that is power spout right there well if you can't understand what I just drew that's fine I am one that is
thank you, Braxis Gray and Biker Trash Wolf for sending in your submissions, and I'll catch you next time.